Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today and I'm going to give you guys a quick meal update of what I've been eating and the biggest news is no more pasta, at least durum wheat semolina that is and you know I haven't really been feeling so well after eating it. I read a lot of studies, I was trying to figure out what it was and I kind of pinpointed a few things so we have some substitutions, so let's take a look at that as well as the meal I'm having today. So instead of regular pasta, Jovial sells an organic brown rice fusilli, which, I mean, <laughs> it's brown rice pasta. Like, it doesn't taste that great, but what I do is I take some organic garlic as well as a shiitake mushroom puree. So I'll tie that up in a little bit of coconut oil and I put that on it. It's, it's pretty decent and it's also a very high mineral meal because, you know, I have all of the copper and stuff from the mushrooms and then the brown rice has a decent amount of minerals. So I think I'll show you guys that pasta meal next week just because I'm not filming two meals today. So earlier I sauteed some cauliflower. That's going to be the predominant fiber for this meal and it's also really delicious. I like it. We put some white rice in the instant pot and I actually had some organic sprouted brown rice earlier but it just doesn't taste good so this is just with you know the Mountain Valley spring water some salt tiny bit of oil and the protein is the roast beef from Frankie syringe meat which is delicious just got a really uh, nice review today by someone they were really enjoying it and for me I mean I don't have to cook so it's amazing you know my protein component I don't really have to worry about anymore now because we only use salt and pepper and no preservatives, the meat naturally oxidizes and turns gray. So this is, I mean, it's practically raw in some parts. It's very, very rare roast beef. We try not to slice it too thin because we're assuming, you know, if it's getting shipped, it might fall apart, but let me know what you guys think. Now I probably shouldn't tell you guys, but this lasted for me in the fridge like two and a half three weeks and it still tasted good most people only say you know normally conventional wisdom it's a few days but so we have our rice a third of a head of cauliflower that was sauteed in the pan the same way the rice was cooked just some mountain valley spring water salt a little bit of coconut oil roast beef told you guys how it was prepared we do have the salt that i use on frankie's free range meat as well as frankie's free range foods.com what's also on the foods website is water kefir grains and water kefir we have pineapple available now this is the lemon apple but i do like the pineapple better and the masticum is available on organsupplements.com guys i forgot to bring this home yesterday and i did not sleep one bit very important if you have h pylori overgrowth someone actually commented that uh vitamin c deficiency can cause h pylori which i haven't looked into yet but maybe i won't have to uh, keep taking this as often so Ever since I started drinking the water kefir, my acne improved tremendously. I maybe get one or two pimples a week now with the kefir grains. I really don't get any acne at all. And uh, this is actually carbonated too. So when you open it, you'll get like a little gas. Not nearly as volatile as the kefir can be sometimes. And this does not include dessert, which uh, you guys can stick around to see. This looks so good. It's like salmon almost you know so i've done meals identical to this except maybe just steak instead of roast beef and maybe i wasn't having the water key for grains i mean guys almost every food has its downsides we're just trying to figure out which ones are you know the best for your liver health so white rice brown rice definitely an arsenic concern uh, someone told me there was something they spray on cauliflower and the meat you know how is it packaged? I mean, generally speaking, the animal protein is the least concern. At least we know we can get a good source of that. But all the other stuff is really up in the air, especially with all those different types of grains, even the different strains of wheat, you know, Corson, Emmer, Einkorn, Semolina. Each of them has their own problems. So you really got to see how you respond to eating it. And if you don't feel good, then just switch the food out. I did do my liver detox uh, smoothie this morning. If you guys missed that video a few months ago, but I put a little too much fiber in it, so I was kind of using the bathroom all day, which is good in the sense of detox, but you want to be able to function still. So 
So to me, every component here is delicious, it's enjoyable, but it's kind of hard to not lose weight when you eat whole foods like this. So and you guys have seen me have like white bread sandwiches, uh, I was making pancakes last week, and I don't feel as good eating those foods, but they do help me gain weight. And you know, if I just put a bunch of oil and fat on this, it's just gonna pull too much bile out of my liver and I'm gonna feel horrible. So um, can be hard to gain weight when you're trying to restrict fat consumption. And not only is the roast beef easy and delicious, top round is basically the leanest cut on the animal. So lowest in fat. We used to actually have a top round blend on a Frankie's strange meat, which got rid of because it wasn't too popular and it's expensive. You know, you gotta charge 12, $13 a pound for it and people don't wanna pay that much for ground beef. But it does end up being like 95.5, even leaner than that. So when I'm about halfway done with the meal, you guys know the drill. I'll take maybe like a heaping teaspoon of the kefir grains. So after a few more bites, then I'll have about a small handful of the masticum. Now, a lot of you guys ask me how much of that to take and you gotta kind of experiment with it. If you grind it into a powder, it is more effective, but you know you might get diarrhea if you take too much. So for dessert, we have a peeled Fuji apple, some walnut butter, which has a little bit of cashew in it. I'm not a fan of it, but I gotta go online and buy the pure walnut butter instead. And some of the raw tars are probably jumping up because they're excited that they could eat this. However, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on the walnut butter and it would melt the raw tards like the slugs they are. You know, it's, it's comical, they won't eat salt, but then they go out to a restaurant with their boyfriend and suck down 15 oysters as well, some other salty stuff later that night, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, before I spout too much nonsense, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. And it's you know just some extra calories that I'm trying to get in. And realistically, even eating this, I'll still lose weight, so it's kind of whatever. But thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this gives you some ideas and helps you follow something that you also feel better eating and ultimately you can improve your health. I guess I'll explain this real quick. So an apple is kind of like a very clean slate. It's high in water, it has fiber, has a decent amount of calories, feel good eating it. The walnut butter is predominantly omega-6, but since it's not oxidized, linoleic acid, it's excellent, excellent, excellent for gaining weight, putting on fat, which is why I use it. So you guys can go to frank to check out those businesses. We got the meat, the foods, organ supplements. I'm wearing the Wi-Fi shield and clothing. Everything on there, you need to be happy and healthy. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.